welcome back to my channel for another back to school week video today i am showing you our morning basket this is really hefty oh i don't know if i can there we go there it is uh, i will just put a clip here so you can see what it looks like as a whole but it's a heavy duty morning basket uh, our morning time as you saw in my scheduling video lasts for about two hours it is a combination of all of our family subjects and we follow the Charlotte Mason approach of lots of little gentle touches. So we do not do everything that's in here every day. We do not do anything in here longer than 15 minutes at a time. This represents the core, like everything that the kids will have had a glimpse of in the course of a week. So this is just spreading the feast, if you will. So I'm gonna show you what is in here. I'm gonna show you what some of these things represent. Our morning basket will stay the same for the entire year. Uh, so I've got a couple of placeholders just to show you like, oh, this is one book, but it represents this whole series of books that we'll do throughout the course of the year. Um, and I will also go ahead and show you what today's back to homeschool giveaway is from another homeschool mom owned business. So if you like morning basket videos, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're excited about back to school week, give it a thumbs up as well. And let's get rolling. Today's giveaway is in partnership with Heritage Letter and there are actually two giveaways. Julie from Heritage Letter is giving away a one year subscription to Heritage Letter here in this video. And she is also giving away a one year subscription to American Heritage Adventure over on my Instagram. So if you follow me here on YouTube and you also follow me on Instagram, you have two chances to win two different prizes. So let's start with Heritage Letter. Heritage Letter is a monthly subscription where you receive a new letter each month from someone significant from America's past. An explorer, a leader, a statesman, a pioneer, an inventor, a scientist, a doctor, naturalist, an author, an artist, the list goes on and on. You'll get a letter written from the perspective of an American legend surrounding the events of his or her life and his or her contribution to American history. You'll also receive a photo or fact card with a picture of the legend and important facts regarding their life and an artifact such as a picture, artwork, a map, or quote related to the American legend. We have loved receiving these every single month. It's been a great way to discover new facts about American history, discover new heroes that we wouldn't have otherwise come across in our studies, and we hang them up in our schoolroom, and it has been such a joy in our homeschool. The American Heritage Adventure letter is similar in the sense that you receive a letter every single month, but with this one, you receive a new adventure every single month. So you'll climb the highest peaks, go on adventures to the heart of America's geographic regions, and touch the historic symbols of our great nation as you visit America's national parks, historic landmarks, and national treasures. So every month you'll receive a double-sided letter from Lizzie Jane as she explores America one stop at a time, featuring hand-drawn original artwork and lettering. And guys, these are absolutely gorgeous. And you'll also receive a souvenir postcard featuring artwork from the letter so you can keep this for yourself or mail it off to a friend. So both of these are being given away, like I said, the American Heritage Letter here on my YouTube channel and then the American Heritage Adventure Letter over on my Instagram. I'll link the info down below. And like I've been doing all week long, this is a giveaway that is sponsored by a homeschool mom owned business so julie is a homeschooling mom she has a family of four and they enjoy traveling to historical places and they love sharing their love of america with all of us so thank you so much julie for these two great giveaways good luck you guys and i will link all the info in the description box down below Okay, so in addition to what is in this morning basket, there are two things that are a part of our morning meeting that are not physically in here. For the most part, we will be doing this morning basket in the living room, but I'll just gather a few things and bring it in there with me. The things that are not in here are two digital subscriptions. So one is World Watch. If you guys remember, I really like the World Kids magazines and the kids have used that as current event studies uh, over the last two years. And I have just subscribed to World Watch News, which is a 
a Christian company, World News Group is a Christian company, but they present news that is true news happening in the world, but it's filtered. Uh, so as a parent, you can just kind of trust, I mean, if you trust World Magazine, you can trust the news they're going to be giving your kids. It's a 10 minute every morning news clip and it shows all the news that's happening in the world. So my kids hear us having conversations a lot and sometimes I'm caught off guard by their lack of awareness of what is happening in real time and also how to explain those things to them. So I thought at least my older two are at an age where it is appropriate that they start getting some current events in real time. The second thing is not something we're doing every single morning, but it is Sign It, which is a sign language program. Uh, I just bought the first five lessons for that to see how we do with it, but I was really, really inspired at the Simply Charlotte Mason conference uh, or retreat in Georgia uh, to add sign language in for our kids. All right, I'm gonna start with the daily things and then I'll show you the things that we hit at least once a week. Um, so first of all, we do have our morning menus. I will put a link up here to a morning menu video from last year just to give you an idea, but I don't have our menus completed for this year yet. That has our hymns and our Bible passage that we're studying, folk songs, etc. So just keep in mind that those are part of our daily morning routine as well. Also in our daily morning routine, we have New City Catechism. We are going through this as a family and we are also going through this with our homeschool co-op. So this is the kids catechism and this is mine and John's. It's mostly me doing it with them, but sometimes he has a chance to sit through it as well. Next, every single day, we are going to be reading our read aloud as part of our morning meeting instead of waiting till the afternoons because it just doesn't happen for us when we keep it in our afternoon schedule. So I wanna just start our morning with our read aloud before we even get to morning basket. So this again is like another placeholder just to represent that we will be doing our morning uh, reading together in our morning basket, but some of the books that we will be doing this year are the Mother West Wind series. Um, these are Burgess books because, and I have it back here, I would like to get through these Burgess books as well. The bird book, the seashore book, the animal book, and so I wanted to introduce them to the characters by starting with the Mother West Wind series and then some other read alouds that we will be doing in the morning uh, throughout the year will be some of these Osborne Illustrated Originals books because they are just beautiful, they keep the kids' attention, and then we also do love using historical uh, fiction supplements depending on where we're at in history. So that's kind of the plan. Those are the um, foundation books that... Like, so that's the plan to either be reading one of the Mother West Wind books or the bird book or animal book or the illustrated originals as well as some historical fiction books sprinkled in throughout the year. Um, then also every morning we will be reading The Ology. This is a wonderful book. I've had my eye on it for a while and so I'm very excited to be adding this in. This has extension opportunities for the youngest to the oldest kids and so all the way up through teens. So I'm very, very excited to add this into our morning meeting. Okay. Next, you guys know I love the morning exercises for all the year, a day book for teachers. I've used this for years. This goes through a historical event, has a poem or a character trait or a just a piece of history to study each morning, just a very short little snippet. I also recently, last school year, added in the American Patriots Almanac. So this has a story from America each day of the month uh, throughout the year as well as the American History Parade at the bottom that shows you everything that has happened in American history on that date. So I use this as part of our calendar time with my kids. So my younger ones are still doing the days of the week song and all of that and then for my older ones we are pulling these books out just so they can connect with the calendar a little bit more. So that is a daily. Another daily thing is the Sing a Song of Seasons, a nature poem for every day of the year. That's part of our calendar time as well. This is a beautiful book, and it's just a simple little sweet poem about nature each day of the year. Um, before we sit down to morning basket, actually before the kids, while the kids are at breakfast, before they even have their morning devotional time, we read through a devotional at breakfast. So we have tons of them. This is the one we're starting with this year, but we have a bunch of different devotions for kids, very short and sweet. 
Um, so this is the one we're starting with. We've used this one probably more than the others. I just happen to really like these books a ton. We also have like the indescribable one. That's another one that I love as well. And I think those are all of the daily things that we have in here. The rest of these books that are in here are those little gentle touches that I'm talking about. So first of all, apart from the read aloud that we'll read for about 15 minutes each morning, the rest of those things that I just showed you are less than five minutes each. So maybe a half an hour total, we're working through that calendar time and those daily readings. The rest of our time is spent a little more slowly going through some of these other things and we only do a couple of these each day. So we either do our music study, which this year we're doing list. Uh, this is the composer study from Simply Charlotte Mason, um, or we do our poet study, which this year we are doing Maya Angelou. So we'll just read one poem for the week and a little bit of her biography, or we do our artist study, which this year, this term, we are studying the highwaymen, being in Florida, this is a local group of artists. We've never done landscape painters and we've never done a group before. Typically we use the Simply Charlotte Mason picture study portfolios, but we're winging it on our own and we're going to do the Highwaymen. I also have this book as a supplement. And um, if you're not familiar with picture study, I will try to link a video up here where uh, Sonia Shaver, I hope she has one where she goes through it a little bit more. So we only do one of those. Uh, we only do one poem, one piece by a composer, and one piece of art each week. Uh, and then the next week for art, we will do the same piece a second time and go a little more in depth. Or the next week for poetry and composer, we will move on to the next one. So that is just once per week. Um, and then also in here, about once or twice a week, I've got the Bible picture portfolios by Simply Charlotte Mason. These are beautiful. I have the parables one that we're starting with first term. Uh, Shakespeare is in here, but this is a second term thing for us. We are not starting this with our first term. This is for my older three, not for Annabeth. So we're doing Midsummer Night's Dream, but I have it in there just so I don't forget about it this year. Um, and then I also have twice a week, we do our habit study, Charlotte Mason's Laying Down the Rails for Children from uh, Simply Charlotte Mason. So we go through uh, one habit every six or eight weeks. So I have all the books in here. I also keep our book of centuries in here for us to jot things down as we're going through the different American history and, and uh, poetry books and things of that sort. I've got Then Sings My Soul, which has a hymn and then the story of the hymn. So I just have this in here for us to read a couple of times about the hymn that we're doing. So for example, we are starting with For the Beauty of the Earth. So here's the hymn, although I have these printed for my kids in their uh, morning menu. And then here's the story of the hymn. So we'll read through this a couple of times throughout the first term. I have a family favorite here, Musical Multiplication by The Good and the Beautiful. We go through this maybe once, maybe twice a week, just depending on how rusty the kids are. This is a really fun way to memorize times tables with a picture and a song. So I have that in there. The kids really like going through that, but we've gone through these all a few times now, so we just like to keep up with it. I also have the Children's Book of America. This is a William J. Bennett book as well. The American Patriots Almanac is also a Bennett book, but this has a different story uh, or a little tale, folklore from American history each day, or not each day, but just a bunch of different stories to read through. So I thought I would do one of these once a week or so. And then the last couple of things I have here, again, are placeholders. So we will only do one of these at a time for about two weeks each per month. So we've got um, the Heroes for Young Readers. This is a YWAM book. If you remember, I love the YWAM Heroes of History and Christian Hero series for my middle schooler to do once a month and write me a report. So I wanted to bring missionary stories in a little bit more into our morning basket for my other kids. And so I like these young readers ones just because we can get through it a little faster and it keeps their attention. So this will do for about a week or two. And then when we finish that, We'll go into, we do like the Tuttle Twins books. 
Um, so we'll go through the Tuttle Twins. We didn't finish all of them last year, but even the ones we did finish, I'll circle back through this year. So like I said, those were just placeholders in the basket so I could show you that I have some more on the agenda here throughout the year as the year goes on. I really like these YWAM books um, and the Tuttle Twins books. So that is what is in our morning basket for this upcoming school year. Uh, I hope it was helpful that it didn't overwhelm you. And like I said, it's lots of little gentle touches, nothing too in depth. And we don't do morning basket for more than an hour and a half or two hours in the mornings, followed by either geography or history. So this is the bulk of our family subjects, and we spend our entire morning doing these together. And then they move into their independent, like math and reading and science after lunch. So that is the bulk of our school day. And like I said, this represents a whole um, year's worth of studies and it's not something that we do every single day. We do not do each one of these books every single day. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to enter the giveaway in the description box down below. And let me know in the comments what is in your morning basket if you do morning basket uh, in the comments down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.